Okay. Hello. Uh, I will I will talk again about the Yoke tool, but um, not really for a product, for some uh, specific tools we can use additionally uh, on um, on an image. Uh, I am a CTO of uh, Smile ECS. Smile is a French company in Paris and several towns in France and some place in Brussels. Um, I am a teacher and long-term user of open source software. I'm a teacher, writer, and, and bad English speaker. This is my favorite competence. Um, we, I will talk about uh, using build system for our industrial. Uh, there, are, there was several Yocto uh, presentation today, so I will be very quick about Yocto, about the introduction. Uh, I, I will try to do a demo. It will be the third demo today, and maybe the third demo will fail, or I don't know, because the, the two previous demo failed, so not for me, but no. The robot was broken. Maybe the pie will work. I don't, I don't know. Um, we will create a recipe, not for creating a recipe, but to use, in order to use some tools on the recipe to modify the recipe, to update the recipe. Uh, we will try to build a kernel module with a Yocto, inside Yocto or outside Yocto. And um, the last part, maybe, the most inter interested part is about CI, uh, for example, testing packages or testing the functionality on an image. You can write some uh, scripts to test uh, functionalities. And I will uh, do a lot of demos because uh, when you do demos, you don't speak a lot, so it's okay <laughs> for everybody. Well, when you have um, an industrial project, uh, you have some uh, necessary tasks but costly tasks such as uh, installing the VSP from Yocto, for example, or Billroot or PTExist, which is the next uh, conference. Uh, you have to create the SDK uh, for building apps. It uh, should be done with the, same, uh, with the same tool. You have to develop your, uh, your applications, um, which is your job <laughs> most of the time. Nobody wants to sell and to buy a Linux system. It's, a, it's not interesting for, for, at all for the, for the people. They want, they want the system to work and the application to work. And uh, then you, you have to integrate and maintain the system in the, in the long term. Um, it's strange because it, it doesn't, yes. It's not the last version of the slide, I think, but it's not a problem here. So a build system such as Yocto is not, uh, is not a development tool, but it's a tool to, to generate the SDK, to, to create the BSP, and to create uh, tools in order to, to manage the system, the image, and, uh, and the syst install system. And um, I will show some, some tools to, to debug, not debug, but develop inside, in, 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 uh, inside Yocto. But most of the time, Yocto is not a tool for development. It's a tool for integration, and development is done outside Yocto. But it's still possible, for example, to compile a kernel modules or, uh, and to test, to remote debug system, uh, applications inside Yocto. And the developing application uh, needs some uh, additional steps, such as uh, CI, to test packages and to test an image for complex systems. So some, um, the most tools are Yocto, Beirut, OpenWRT, PTXDX, et cetera. But Yocto is the most famous. Today, we, all the conference, uh, they, speak, they spoke about Yocto. And the next one, except the next one, we, we will speak about uh, PTXDX. But uh, there are lots of uh, Yocto users around. So uh, Yocto uh, is based on Open Embedded. It's a prefix for um, System, international system of measures. And the Yocto main concepts are, are the metadata, the recipes, the extended recipes. So we will create an extended recipes with tools during the, the conference. Uh, the configurations, the classes includes, and the layer which contains the metadata. 
And for uh, building a recipe, you have to, to do bitbake. Bitbake my recipe, and we, it will cre create a package you can install. So you can integrate the package directly in, in the image, or you can install the package uh, using a package system such as IPK, RPM, or DEB. Uh, my system, as it is a small, small system, I, I use uh, IPK. Okay, this is the, the principle of Yocto with the layers. And um, you have the, in yellow, the, the Yocto layers, and then you have to add the BSP, example for the Raspberry Pi, or et cetera. So if you run, for example, if you want to build a Yocto image for a Raspberry Pi, you have to download uh, Yocto, actually the Pocky uh, sources. You have to get the Raspberry Pi hardware layer with uh, the same branch. You have to create a build uh, environment. Um, you have to add the layers, necessary layers for the first test. Is, uh, the only necessary additional layers is a Meta Raspberry Pi uh, layer. And you define the machine, and you create a, sim a very simple image to, to, to test the board. Okay, and you put it on an SD card in case of a Raspberry Pi. This is a, that's an example of a very simple uh, recipe, um, a very simple program based on CMake. We can build with a, with a distribution. So I will show the, the build, for example. I will remove the build to show there is no, no problem, but I will build, build it again. Okay, so if you, if you build the recipe. Okay. <coughs> you, can, you can see the package created. Um, okay, with a single binary, which is on the board. I was afraid about the demo, so I put it on the board before. Okay. Well, uh, in uh, Yocto, there is a very interesting uh, feature, which is the BB Appen. With the BB Appen, it's a, it's a quite of uh, extension of a recipe. Uh, so you start from a BB a recipe, and you add a BB Appen with a data, for example, patch or etc or uh, configurations for BuzzyBox or the Linux kernel or anything you want. And you can um, generate a different package with, uh, with different data ba based on the same uh, initial recipe. So the most famous example is a splash screen. So the standard splash screen provided by, uh, by uh, Yocto. Uh, you update the the logo, and you get a new logo, for example, with the Yocto logo or the Raspberry Pi logo based on the, if you start with the, with the open embedded logo. Okay? Uh, first, uh, the first uh, very simple tool is DevShell. DevShell is just uh, a shell you can start from Yocto to modify uh, source code. So, for example, it, it opens a, a new terminal, so we will start with a with a recipe, and so we type bitback minus C dev shell, uh, my proxy make, for example. Okay. You get a new terminal, very small, and you can, you can uh, edit the code, for example. And you have no, just, uh, you, you don't use uh, bitback tools, you use, use the standard tools. So you can, okay. Okay. And you can, for example, you can copy the, the, 
the binary to the, to the board in order, in order to do a small test, for example. Okay. Oh, yes, no. <laughs> yes, start. Problems are starting. No, it's not four. It's not four, it's three. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So there's a new new example modified by the by simple to but it's not uh, that uh, very interesting, but it's a possibility to do a, a small test. Okay? And the next uh, tool, which is much more interesting, is a dev tool. So dev tool is a way to modify recipe, uh, not modify the, the, the sources inside uh, inside uh, Yocto. So you you start uh, you start dev tool on, uh, on an existing recipe, for example. You can create this recipe with dev tool, but um, and it will create uh, in another layer. It will create a BB append, append to, for example, to apply a patch. Uh, to the initial recipe. But you can do that by hand, for example, if you edit, we create a new layer and you edit, etc. But if you want to do a sim in a simple way, you can use DevTool for that. So there, are, there are lots of functionalities in DevTool, but uh, this is a very simple uh, example I can do in some minutes here. So for example, um, instead of Dev Shell, I, I use a DevTool. Not, not with BitBeck, DevTool, modify, okay? Okay. Well, so when you, it has a, a local directory, which is a workspace, which is called workspace, where the DevTool copies the sources of the recipe. And you can add, and it's automatically add the new layer to, to the BB layer doc to the, to the list of the layer. Okay, so you can uh, you can go to the to the workspace, and the main difference is uh, that the sources is uh, managed by Git. So you you change the source, the tool instead of the shell. You commit the, the modif. Dev tool demo. Okay. And you, you just have to, to create a new layer. For example, create layer. Metaphors dem menu. Uh, it exists. So I will remove because uh, I want to be a uh, Honest. Okay. I create a new layer. I add a layer, but it's an empty layer. Okay, three. First, the new. Okay, there is nothing except uh, some small example which is not uh, useful for us. And uh, then you can uh, dev tool, finish. Uh, my pack CMake, and you just give the the, the path of the of the new layer, okay? So it's a bit uh, you, it creates uh, everything to 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 create a BB append for the recipe, okay? So as, as he said, you you have to to remove the the workspace which is a uh, Uh, not not this one. <laughs> it was the wrong uh, line. You remove the workspace because it's not useful anymore. And now you can build the recipe again <coughs> with Bitbake. And uh, you should notice if it works that the the version of the the release will be will not be upgraded, <laughs> okay. But it's not a, it's not a problem. Uh, yes, because, uh, yeah, okay. 
uh, I forgot something. So you have the here. You have the result of the of the modification. And the best way is the is the following is to create to change the version of the of the recipe in the to force it to, to compile again. So with the package system you can update the package much more easily. Okay? So you have a new package with the R1 version instead of R0. Okay? Uh, with, uh, with Yocto, you can create, it's a very interesting feature of Yocto, you can create a SDK, which is called Extensible SDK. You can install very easily uh, on another uh, PC, Linux system, with quite the same distribution. Um, it creates a, a shell script, which uh, includes uh, the SDK, and you just have to run the shell script to, um, to install the, the, com the cross-compiler. And the SDK is mostly the cost compiler uh, across debugger. You have uh, an Eclipse plugin, your QEMU emu emulator if, uh, if necessary. And um, you don't need to, to know your Octo to use it. And it's very interesting because in most of uh, companies, you have a, a, a team uh, integrating and testing the packages with uh, Yocto and system knowledge, and most of people, they don't know anything about Yocto. They build, they build their, their own pack system, they build their own programs with uh, their um, knowledge, and uh, they, give the, they give the sources. Once that's tested, they give the sources to the Yocto team to integrate the new uh, version as a package, okay? So there is a specific documentation in the Yocto documentation uh, about uh, ESDK. Uh, the, a simple way to, to create the SDK is to use a BPEG metatool chain, which uh, creates a basic SDK, and you have to just have to execute your shell script to install the, the SDK uh, as follows, with uh, sourcing the, a, a script which is provided by, the, by Yocto. For example, I can do, I'm going to do it. It's, it's already installed, so I can, but I can do it. So you, you, are, you go to a, you source the, the OPT, OKI, three environment, okay. And so the $CC is modified, so you, you just, okay. It's not a dot .po. Okay. Okay. But most of time, you may have to integrate some specific libraries or scripts or anything you want. For example, when you use a Qt, Qt you have a QMake, you have some script. Uh, when, if you use the Xenomize, the extension, the real-time extension for Linux, uh, you have some tools and specific libraries, so you want to integrate the libraries in the, in the SDK, and for that to create an image, for example, an image including Xenomai, and you use the populate SDK uh, uh, function to, to get the SDK, which includes the same libraries as, as the image. And you, you can also include the kernel sources if you want to develop uh, kernel modules with the SDK, so you can do everything outside Yocto. Um, okay, so for example, if you want to compile a module, so you, you do a make, a kernel, src, equal, etc. cetera, so, um, and you give the, the path to the kernel sources used by, by the board, okay? For example, with a simple module, <coughs> it's a kernel, it's a still a hello, make, kernel, src, equal, slash opt, pokey, three, sysroot, arm. 
un USR SRC kernel. OK And you copy, you copy the, the module to the board. And you load the module, for example, in smod hello.kio. Okay. So you have the module in, in the board. Uh, there is a, a functionality to, to do the same with uh, inside Docto. And there is a directory which is used for the kernel recipes. If you integrate a module in the kernel in a recipe, uh, in the, in, but it is in the Yocto directory, not outside the Yocto directory. You can use it from, from Yocto, but it's not, I think it's not a, a good way, but you can use it if you want. It's a TMP work share, the, et cetera, kernel build artifacts. It exactly is the, the kernel source necessary to compile a module. Okay, so uh, the last part is to try to use some uh, CI uh, functionalities. Um, so when you, you, you add functions or you modify a system, you want to, um, to check there is no regression on, on, the, on the system after an upgrade on the standard components and on uh, added application you, you develop with the SDK and then you add packages, for example. So you have lots of methods and tools to, for that. It's very famous and uh, I don't want to talk about it again. And there are two, uh, two functions provided by Yocto, which is a p-test to test a package and test image to test an image. And of course, it's possible to extend. There are lots of examples in Yocto for standard packages such as BusyBox, Bluezy, etc. But you can uh, define your, your own uh, test for p-test or for test image. Okay, so we, we try to, for example, for p-test, um, in the local.conf, you have to, to add some uh, distro features and uh, image features to include the p-test functionalities. And once uh, you create a specific uh, image with the, this modification, you, you have all the package, including the p-test strips in the USR, or lib, uh, et cetera, p-test. So, my, my distro is uh, my image uh, USP test. So for example, you can see there is in USR lib, you have, uh, for example, in Busybox, you have the P test for Busybox, etc. And you have uh, a command to see what are the package, including a P test script. Like, okay. <coughs> And you can, you can, uh, you can test uh, a package with, uh, with a p-test runner command inside on the board or from SSH, which is much easier if you want to, auto, to, to have an automatic test. So as an example, we develop um, a small program which converts uh, Celsius to Fahrenheit, which is very useful. Okay, and we want to check the program is okay. So, <clears throat> with a program, we, we give a script. Uh, far, far, not far. Uh, with uh, some uh, a script which is called one bit is it's a simple share, share script. And um, a list of, uh, of data. Uh, with, which is simply uh, temperature in Celsius and temperature in, uh, in Fahrenheit. And we, we run the test to see if, uh, if the program gives the, the right uh, value for Fahrenheit. So, for example, I do the p test uh, far. Far. Okay. And you, you begin the test. So, and you have the, the, the result of the test. And of course, you can do that from SSH. And you can do, if you, if you type only a p-test runner, you run all, all the tests. But it's very long, so I, I, will do, I will not do this. And uh, <clears throat> uh, another one is a, is a global testing. It's a quite different because instead of uh, testing a package on the board, uh, for example, you want to test some functionalities. For example, the network, for example, for example, SSH, and basically is uh, designed to be run by QMU, by the QMU target. But if you configure Yocto, you can, uh, you can uh, 
uh, make, it, make it run on a hardware board or already running, for example, but there are several ways to, to, to test. The, you can test a booting target, you can test an already running target, etc. What we will do with a running target is much more simpler. So you, <coughs> you add an inherit on the test image, and you define the test suite. And uh, there are lots of uh, examples of test suite. For, uh, for example, on the network with ping, SSH, you can check the, the size of the, of the disk, the rema remaining si size on the disk. You define the, the way to test. Already finished? Oh, it's quite finished. <laughs> and uh, then you can, uh, you can do the, you can do the, the test. Uh, for example, it's, uh, you can do that fr from the, the build environment, build back, minus C test image. Yeah. Yes. OK. You are Engli at English time. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, okay. So I, I will be slower. <laughs> so you can you can run you can run uh, from the PC. You can run a uh, bitback minus t test image on the this, on, on the image you want to test, and uh, it will run the, the test. So for example, um, no. I will first as. I will first try with a, with a standard test. So ping and SSH are standard test. Core image minimal. Okay. So of course uh, the, the board should be. Uh, so so I, I modified the local.conf so there there is a, a small uh, uh, indexing of the of the packages of the recipe. Sorry. But um, the most is interesting, of course, you can add a new test. Uh, the standard tests are in meta uh, layer, uh, lib, OQA, etc., runtime, and you can you can add your new, new test in a new layer, and uh, you write the test with the with the API provided by Octo. It's a Python, uh, and I just wrote a simple test today to to show you. Uh, it's a test. T we check uh, if, uh, if the kernel modules are loaded. It's very simple. But first, first we, we, will, uh, we will test with the standard features. OK. OK. Do test image. OK. So all the two tests are OK. Then I, I add a new, um, a new test. For example, I want to be sure that the module is loaded. So my sample module, I want to test on the board. The module is loaded. So I, I wrote a very simple test, uh, which uh, use LS mode and, and say LS mode size should be uh, more than, than one line. It's very simple, but well, why not? And the test is here. Meta FOSDEM lib OQR time kisses and it's called LS model. You know. Uh, so this is a, a very simple test. Uh, you run a, you run a command from SSH. LS mod, uh, LS mod pipe WC minus L, and I check the, the result is uh, greater than one. So I have to add the, the test. And first, if I, remo if I remove the, the module, uh, there will be a, a failure, of course. So sorry for my old PC, it, it's a bit slow. Okay. <coughs> no, it's, it's not that slow. So there is an error, not because there is an error in the October, but uh, because uh, there is an error in the, in the test. Uh. OK. So you can see uh, in the, 
in the file. Of course, you can, you can do some additional stuff to that you will get a message. Okay. You will get the message kernel module is not loaded. Not loaded. Okay? So I, I insert the, the, miss, the new the, the, the module and I run the test again. And of course it will it will work. Okay. Okay. So um, that's very simple, but you can, if you have uh, some additional uh, components around, you can uh, you can do some inter interesting uh, things with uh, with uh, some tools such as uh, test image, p test, etc. Did you have any question? And you speak slowly, please, in English, or you speak French with a South accent. No, I, I, I understand a little bit. Is, is uh, there is any way to flash the image after the building process and then uh, test it? Yes, of course, I think so. Um, well, the answer is with Yocto, you can do anything you want. <laughs> you just have to, to write, uh, you can uh, write a class to, to, to flash an image and to, to test the image, uh, and you can combine a, any tools you want. Uh, I don't know if there is, I think there is an existing configuration for test image uh, for that, but I'm not sure. I never used it, but uh, I, think, uh, I think there is. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. No more questions? Okay. So thank you.